Hello, Mac noobs. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing very well. Me? Oh, I'm doing very good. Thank you very much. Um, I have a tutorial for you guys today on how to install Dynamic Lighting, the mod on Minecraft for the Mac. Now, I have two requirements, which is not really a lot to ask. One of them is that you buy the full game of Minecraft. Um, you can try this on the pirated version, but it might not work. And if it doesn't work on the pirated version, do not even bother leaving me a comment because I cannot help. It's, it's probably because it's the pirated version and that's the way it is. Um, second requirement is that you listen to everything I say. And before you ask a question, make sure you watch the video back through again. And yeah, then ask me the question if I haven't covered it. Okay, so what you want to do is to get this uh, this mod, you want to go into the download in the description, which will bring you to this Minecraft forum page. And on here, you want to scroll down, and you'll see this area here. Now, I'm on Minecraft 1.6.6, so I'm going to download these two uh, these two downloads here. This one is Mod Loader, and Mod Loader is necessary. You need to have Mod Loader for the mod to work. And to get this, click the link, then scroll down and click direct or add fly there under Minecraft Beta 1.6.6. You don't need to worry about anything else, just Minecraft Beta 1.6.6 and either click that or click that. And obviously if you're on 1.7, you'll mod load a Beta 1.7. Okay, when you've downloaded that, you want to go ahead and download the one that actually says download. And that's pretty much it. And that, that will be the dynamic lighting mod. And that's the mod loader itself. Okay, so when you've done this, uh, locate the zip files. Make sure that they are zip files. If they're not zip files, make sure to download it again and make sure it doesn't automatically unzip them. Okay, so I put my two files inside a Dynamic Lights folder uh, just for neatiness because I like it to be neat. And you want to open them both with Archive Utility. Uh, Archive Utility is a default uh, zip opener on the Mac and if you don't have it um, I would recommend you to go into Google and download it. Um, to download it you want to go onto Google like I said and download something called RX Archive Utility. How do I make that bigger? Can I? There we go. I go into Google and type in that and you will be able to get that for free. So make sure you download that. Okay, uh, when you've done this as I said, you want to unzip these two files here, and you'll get two folders. Now, I'm going to get rid of stuff that you don't need. Um, in Dynamic Lights, you don't need these four files here. And within the Minecraft.jar folder, you don't need the .text file. So you can just go ahead and delete them. And then go into the Minecraft folder, and you don't need the where to put .text. Uh, this is just going to make it that little bit easier for you guys. Uh, in mod load, you don't need to delete everything. You need everything inside of there. So, what you need to do now is you need to locate your Minecraft folder where you're going to be putting all of this stuff. And to do this, you want to go into your user, go on library, application support, scroll down to Minecraft, and you'll have these folders here. Now, um, you can install straight off. However, I would recommend clearing your cache first. So to do this, you want to highlight all the above, um, deselect, stats, saves, texture packs, and last login. Um, delete everything but them four folders there. There we go. And then lo open up Minecraft, and then click login, and it will start downloading packages. And what this will do is it will uh, refresh your cache and give you everything default again. Except from stats, which is like stuff like achievements, saves, which is your worlds, and texture packs, which are texture packs you've installed. Uh, and you want to keep them, which is why you don't delete them. Okay, when you've done that, uh, you will have a fresh cache. Now in here, you want to click on bin, and then you'll have a file called minecraft.jar. You want to open this with archive utility, not jar launcher, archive utility. And obviously, if you haven't got that, you go to Google type Narc Tracker Utility and you'll get a new folder pop up. Now, in this folder, you want to find a file, no, a folder even called meta inf. I'll actually just bring this out so you know where I am meta inf. And when you've uh, found that folder, you want to delete it 
as this can cause black screens and if you have a black screen uh, Minecraft will crash and you won't be able to use it and then you'll have to reset it all and it's just fuss so make sure you delete that. Next you want to go over to where your downloads are, where your mod loader and your um, dynamic lights uh, zip files are and go into the folders, go into where dynamic lights is, click on compiled for minecraft.jar Oh, is it compiled? Yeah, it is. And then select all the dot class files and drag them into the Minecraft folder. Apply to all and replace. Okay, now you can delete that folder. Now open up the Minecraft underscore folder one and drag dynamic light dot settings into where bin saves and texture packs is. You want to put that into there, right there. Okay, when you've done that, you can delete dynamic lights because you don't need that anymore. And then you want to open up a uh, mod loader get all of these files and you want to put them into the minecraft folder down here click apply to all and replace and then you can delete that folder like so i would recommend you to keep them .zip files just in case anything goes wrong okay when you've done this uh, all you need to do is rename minecraft.j you want to rename this minecraft backup oh dear that was a poorly spelled there we go. And you want to rename the Minecraft folder uh, Minecraft.jar. Click add. And what that does is that tells Minecraft that that's the folder it wants to read that you've changed rather than the folder that you used before. Okay, so now when you load up Minecraft, hopefully the mod should be installed. Now, if you get a black screen here and it's all black and Minecraft's crashing, I'll show you how to fix it in a sec. Uh, here we go. So as you can see, I'm holding a torch now, and when I don't hold a torch, it gets darker again. So that shows that the mod has worked, and hopefully uh, it's worked exactly the same. Oh dear, that's loud. It's worked exactly the same for you guys. Um, obviously, all your settings will reset, so you might need to change all this down to whatever you want. Uh, yeah, you know, you get the basic idea. And yeah, I hope that's helped you guys. And if this has worked fine for you, uh, thank you very much. Make sure to leave a comment and a like or a rating and tell me why you don't like it. If you've disliked it, you know, that's fine. Just let me know why, please. Okay, so this is the section for people who are having problems. Now, if, you're, uh, if your Minecraft is broke and isn't working, what you want to do is you want to go into Library, Application Support, scroll down to Minecraft, and you want to delete everything inside of here except from stats, saves, texture packs, and last login. Delete everything, open up Minecraft, and this is basically refreshing your cache yet again, and it will make Minecraft work at its default settings again. So, yeah, make sure to do that if you're having problems with Minecraft. And if you get the black screen, if you get the black screen problem, uh, make sure you've deleted Minecraft, uh, meta inf within the bin folder within the uh, Minecraft folder, sorry. And hopefully it's worked fine. So I love you guys to pieces. Thank you very much for watching. If you're having problems and you have bought the game and you have watched the tutorial a few times and checked that you've watched everything step by step, then leave a comment letting me know what's wrong. Otherwise, if you're using the pirated game, please don't bother leaving a comment because it's because you're using a pirated game. You need to buy the full game for most mods to work. Okay, guys, I love you all to pieces. I'll see you guys in a bit. Thank you for watching the tutorial. And this has been Judge from Venus Gamers. And I love you all. See you guys in a bit.